All summer, the misery of tens of thousands on the move has played out across Europe, but one picture is shaking the conscience of a continent. This image has brought this crisis home as never before, and European governments like Britain must justify their response. Britain is a moral nation and we will fulfil our moral responsibilities. That is why Britain is the second biggest bilateral donor in the world to those Syrian refugee camps. And that is why, yes, we are taking uh, thousands of Syrian refugees and we'll continue to do that. As I said yesterday, we keep that under review. But as I also said yesterday, there isn't a solution to this problem that's simply about taking people. We need a comprehensive solution. In a Five News poll, 50% of people said they thought Britain should be doing more to ease the crisis. But when asked how many refugees Britain should take, 56% said Britain should take fewer than the average being taken by other EU countries. That poll was carried out before the shocking pictures of the last 24 hours. But in the face of scenes like these, this was Macedonia today, the pressure on David Cameron to do more is growing. Five News spoke to the man who's front-runner to become Labour leader. Is that Britain should take more refugees, do you course, think? Britain will have to take a fair share and a reasonable number of refugees. Thousands more? Listen, I don't know what the figure will be, but there has to be a, uh, an acceptance of our obligations to all of us under the 1951 Geneva Convention. And some of David Cameron's own MPs want him to act. Scale of, of the well, inhumanity in many ways uh, is extraordinary and we need to ensure we're doing all we can and part of that is the voluntary settlement programme of which we're just in barely a hundred or so that we have accepted of Syrian refugees. We need to make sure that's in the thousands rather than hundreds. And from an old adversary, more condemnation. The UK government's refusal to take part in the EU's collective efforts on relocation and resettlement is, in my view, utterly shameful. All summer, the problem has been clear. The response of governments across the continent, much less so.